This video comes to you from Gongai Games, your source for Star Wars Destiny singles, sealed product, and tons of other great games. Check them out at gongai.com. Use discount code COMMANDO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dice Commando for round two of today's standard tournament here at Gongai Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On the left we have Sarah, playing her familiar Jin Cassian, or Mill Kill version. She of course is on Occupied City. On the right we have Joe, who we saw take down round one. He's playing Yoda. Ayla, and he's actually on the Salt Flat. So do note, Ayla's not a leader, even though she is actively leading in her photo. She is not a leader, but... Alright, I think Yoda's favored here, but not when Jin Cassian rolls like that. Yep, so we're going to be on Occupied City. That's going to make life real hard for Joe. So, uh, while you control the battlefield, when your opponent plays in a support or an upgrade, you can force your opponent to mill a card. Mill is a turn meaning discard a card from top of deck. So, alright. Two shields go on to Yoda. Which is not good news for her, or for Sarah, because obviously we know that Joe's going to be playing Ataru Strike, become one, all sorts of stuff like that, right? So, all right, Jin coming out, she rolls pretty hard. Um, going to look at the top three cards of this deck, and then she gets to put them back in any order, and then discard the top card. Right, so she's looking it over, we see... I think I saw a Jedi Saber in there. Alright, so she gets... Okay, guess not. So she gets rid of Unbreakable. Alright, Motive. Calling... Okay, calls range. Or I'm assuming calls range, but gets a blank, which he certainly didn't call. Alright, Cassian coming in. It's a one and a blank, so Sarah's looking to pitch to reroll. Alright, Ayla coming in with a 2 and a resource. She does have the Gen Pistol in her hand. That's not a bad deal. Alright, so drops an EMP. So she rerolls. Thing not on damage. Gets a resource and a blank. Alright, 1 for Discipline Mind. So removes the 2. So Sarah usually has to decide by turn one whether she's going for mill or kill. Alright, drops her riot shield, gets a plus two on the blank. Alright, one for Yoda's saber, and she will force Joe to mill. So he actually did uh, get a shield, because it goes down on Yoda. Okay, yeah, so she's taking the shields off Yoda. I think that's going to indicate that she's going for mill here. And then she mills one for a cast. Yep, it goes mills one for casting ability. That's what she's going for here. So I think she's just going to try to keep him off the shields and uh, try to uh, race him down here. All right, so two going to Jin from Ayla. Do note that uh, all right, there's a dollar, and she'll force a mill. Ooh, got the Ataru strike. That's big. All right, takes a resource. Yoda still is not rolled in. All right. Coming in. Rolls pretty well. Can Sarah controls the question. All right. So it looks like she, yep. So Jen Blaster comes in. No in effect there, but uh, it does have redeploy. And Jin's Blaster, when it comes in, you can either reroll the die or mill the top card of the deck, and then you can reroll. It's not. It's actually not a then. Reroll all of Jin's die if it's on her. All right, but four more into her. So there's six damage first turn. That's a lot. All right, so Sarah claims she'll stay on top of the uh, occupied city. All right, so there's a discard to reroll. Gets one more. It was definitely it was worth it, even though I lost him a card. So, all right. So Sarah goes in with two. Joe goes in with three. Oh, so one. Oh, so she's instigating Jen. Interesting. Okay, so Jen comes in with. Yeah, so she has a whole bunch of triggers here. So first she'll use the gin trigger, look at the top three, and then she gets to do the blaster triggers. 
but it's it's good to do gen first because you can choose based on what you see there if you're trying to cut your opponent down right so that first and then she's she's not re okay it's so not redoing gen blaster she gets rid of the top two and then she rerolls oh with her in well with her yep rerolls gen and she has imbesh here so Because this is instigate, so she has ambush. Oh. They uh, missed her. I think with all the triggers, they missed her ambush. All right, so it mills one for Neiman coming into play, but flips Jin to the blank. All right, Cassian coming in. Hits a discard and a one gun. She's doing okay. She's got a chance here. Ayla coming in, but with Neiman, that's dangerous. All right, Neiman one focus, Jin one melee. All right, drops two from hand. What'll put him at two left, and then she'll, I assume, mill one. Oh, gets the other Ataru. Yep, does mill one. Okay. All right, Yoda coming in. It's a plus one melee. He gets a resource and a four for one. But those Atarus are gone now. Still can become one though. All right. So is she gonna pick? Yep. Yep. Picks the ones, the one melees. Jill will have to decide to pitch three. He does have, he can focus to two focus if he wants to put on pressure. Jin only needs five to go down here, so. Okay, so he goes to the two, once he, I'm assuming once he finds it. Okay, yep. All right, takes the shield. Yep, there it is, there's become one, so he'll hit for six, which is enough to put her down. And then she'll shoot for one, I assume, here. Because that's worth one more card. Yep, so one into Yoda and then Mill. Yep, there's the Mill. Okay, and then Joe's action. So Sarah unable to discard out the become one and ended up losing Jin. Just just an unlucky pick or lucky pick depending on which side of the table you're sitting. But she does have the Jin blaster still so there's no character die rerolls there but she still gets the mill slash reroll trigger on it. Alright so it starts with Cassian. Discard and then she can decide to mill or reroll but she's pitching a reroll anyway. Okay yeah so she's she's milling one for Jin. All right, Ayla coming in. One shield and a resource. All right, pays one for riot shield. All right, Neiman, and that'll cost him another card. All right, so discard. All right, gets a, there's the become one. And then mill. Uh oh, we didn't mill there. There's two for the overwrite, and that'll cost him. Oh wow, Obi overwrites with Obi's and gets rid of Obi's. All right, 
discards to re-roll. It's another discard, and that's a... Oh, that's discard, discard. Yeah, so he uh, he's just putting he is anyway discarding a reroll because why not? Oh, gets Ala special. All right, so it gets one and mills one. I think Joe's going to be down to none in deck, which is when it gets very hard for Cassian. All right, that's a roll. That's a really good roll. Although he doesn't have the resources he needs. But he can get there, because again, he has no cards left in hand, so no become one coming out of this, but she's going to have to get rid of that special. Okay, one, and she'll pick, I'm sure, uh, probably Obi and Ayla, right? Yep, now he does have the, f so yeah, she's out of cards. She does have the right shield, though. This is going to be an interesting match, because I do believe he'll be on his last hand next round, so. So we had the one, the one Cassian trigger missed. Um, so I wonder where that would put us, but, all right, so Neiman, turn upgrade that any side, so he'll go to the Neiman special, and then Neiman will, yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can pull it from his discard. That costs him another card, but... Goes to the three. That's going to help him hit for quite a bit here. All right, discards to re-roll. Looking for shield would be about it. But there's five, so she'll pop the shield here. No, nope. okay, so she takes it all. Ooh, that's dangerous with the Obi Saber. All right, pitch and re-roll. Takes a resource. Sarah will probably claim here, right? All right, yep, so Sarah's claimed out. Took the four shields, though. That's going to be trouble with Obi Saber. But Sarah will have a full hand of control. And a yellow character online for entangles. Pickings are gone because she's used them both, but... Entangle is still a thing. I'm not sure if she plays with that or not, but... All right, so it starts by rolling in. All right, there's a discard. Yeah, so she'll just pass. So there's nothing left to mill, but, I mean, she got two discards, which is pretty big. So Joe has three cards in hand, so that two discards is not going to be enough. That's kind of the trap Cassian gets into in game. He can mill from a deck like a champ, but the finish is tough. It's when you need something like a scruffy or something like that. So, all right, Yoda coming in. She's going to have to control that Obi save. There's no question about it. All right, so that's not a bad roll. No reason she shouldn't pitch. And by pitch, I mean discard his two cards. Okay, field medic for two. That lets Yoda come in. There's the OB special. Oh, she's not going to be able to take it, so I remove it. So there's two discard, leaving with one in hand, and I think Joe's going to get this one. Yep, so she deals the indirect. Yep, do specials. All right, five unblockable. And unless she can remove, she's done here. Very close. None in deck, one in hand. That one uh, missed Cassian trigger would have made the difference. But again, it is a May effect, so... Thinking it over. She may have an out here. All right, discards reroll. No out. He's going to drop her right here. So, yep. 
takes one net through the shield and then plenty more where that came from. All right, nicely done, Joe. Takes down round two today. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey guys, this is Lyle uh, here for the tournament. Love Dice Commando. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're ready for this awesome tournament. Thanks.